Are you considering corticosteroid therapy with triamcinolone? Before taking this medication, it's essential to understand the potential risks and side effects associated with its use. Triamcinolone is a corticosteroid commonly used to treat a variety of conditions, such as asthma, allergies, and skin disorders. While it can be highly effective in managing these conditions, it is crucial to be aware of the potential risks and side effects that may arise. Common Uses of Triamcinolone Triamcinolone is a versatile corticosteroid that is commonly prescribed for various medical conditions. It is primarily used to reduce inflammation in the body, which can help alleviate symptoms and improve overall health. Some of the common uses of triamcinolone include Asthma Triamcinolone is often prescribed to manage asthma symptoms by reducing airway inflammation and preventing asthma attacks. It can help improve breathing and provide relief from wheezing, coughing, and shortness of breath. Allergies Allergic reactions can cause discomfort and hinder daily activities. Triamcinolone can be used to treat allergies by reducing inflammation and relieving symptoms such as sneezing, itching, and nasal congestion. Skin Disorders Triamcinolone is also effective in treating various skin conditions, including eczema, psoriasis, and dermatitis. It can help reduce itching, redness, and inflammation, allowing the skin to heal and improve its appearance. It's important to note that triamcinolone should only be used as directed by your healthcare provider and for the specific condition it is prescribed for. Misuse or overuse of this medication can increase the risk of side effects. Potential Side Effects of Triamcinolone Therapy While triamcinolone can be a valuable treatment option for many individuals, it is not without its potential side effects. The side effects can vary from person to person, and not everyone will experience them. However, it is crucial to be aware of the potential risks before starting triamcinolone therapy. Some of the common side effects include Increased appetite and weight gain Triamcinolone can stimulate appetite, leading to increased food intake and potential weight gain. This side effect is more common with long-term use and higher doses of the medication. Fluid retention Fluid retention or edema may occur as a result of triamcinolone therapy. It can cause swelling in the hands, feet, or face. If you notice sudden weight gain or significant swelling, it's important to consult your healthcare provider. Bone thinning Long-term use of triamcinolone can lead to bone thinning or osteoporosis. This can increase the risk of fractures and other skeletal problems. Your healthcare provider may recommend regular bone density tests and calcium supplements to mitigate this risk. High blood pressure Triamcinolone can elevate blood pressure levels, especially when used for an extended period. Regular monitoring of blood pressure is essential, and medication adjustments may be necessary to manage this side effect. Increased susceptibility to infections. Corticosteroids like triamcinolone can suppress the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections. It's important to be cautious and avoid close contact with individuals who have contagious illnesses. If you develop any signs of infection, such as fever or persistent cough, seek medical attention promptly. Short-Term Side Effects of Triamcinolone In addition to the potential side effects mentioned above, triamcinolone can also cause short-term side effects that are usually temporary and resolve once the medication is discontinued. These short-term side effects may include Mood Changes Triamcinolone can affect mood and emotions, leading to irritability, mood swings, or even depression in some individuals. If you notice any significant changes in your mood while taking triamcinolone, discuss it with your healthcare provider. Sleep Disturbances Some individuals may experience difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep while taking triamcinolone. If sleep disturbances become problematic, your healthcare provider may recommend adjusting the dosage or taking the medication at a different time of the day. Stomach Upset Triamcinolone can sometimes cause stomach discomfort, including nausea, indigestion, or heartburn. Taking the medication with food can help alleviate these symptoms. If stomach upset persists or worsens, consult your healthcare provider. It's important to remember that not everyone will experience these short-term side effects, and they tend to be less common and less severe compared to the long-term side effects associated with triamcinolone use. Long-term side effects of triamcinolone While triamcinolone can be highly effective in managing certain medical conditions, long-term use of this medication can lead to more severe side effects. It's crucial to be aware of these potential risks and discuss them with your healthcare provider. Some of the long-term side effects of triamcinolone include Adrenal gland suppression Prolonged use of triamcinolone can suppress the normal function of the adrenal glands, 
which produce important hormones that regulate various bodily processes. Adrenal gland suppression can lead to a condition known as adrenal insufficiency or adrenal crisis, characterized by fatigue, weakness, and low blood pressure. It's important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions regarding the dosage and duration of triamcinolone therapy to minimize this risk. Cushing syndrome. Triamcinolone can cause Cushing syndrome, a condition characterized by weight gain, round face, thinning skin, and muscle weakness. Regular monitoring and dose adjustments may be necessary to manage this side effect. Osteoporosis. As mentioned earlier, long-term use of triamcinolone can lead to bone thinning and increase the risk of osteoporosis. Adequate calcium and vitamin D intake, along with regular weight-bearing exercises, can help mitigate this risk. Your healthcare provider may also recommend bone density tests to monitor bone health. Risk factors for triamcinolone side effects. While anyone taking triamcinolone can potentially experience side effects, certain factors may increase the risk or severity of these side effects. Some of the risk factors to consider include Higher dosages The risk of side effects increases with higher doses of triamcinolone. It's important to use the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration possible to minimize the potential risks. Long-term use Long-term use of triamcinolone significantly increases the risk of developing more severe side effects, such as adrenal gland suppression and osteoporosis. Regular monitoring and dose adjustments are essential for individuals requiring long-term therapy. Pre-existing medical conditions. Individuals with certain medical conditions, such as diabetes, hypertension, or compromised immune systems, may be more susceptible to triamcinolone side effects. It's important to discuss your medical history with your healthcare provider before starting this medication. Age and gender. Elderly individuals and postmenopausal women are at a higher risk of developing osteoporosis as a result of triamcinolone therapy. Close monitoring and appropriate preventive measures are crucial for these populations. How to minimize the risk of triamcinolone side effects. While it's not possible to completely eliminate the risk of side effects when taking triamcinolone, there are steps you can take to minimize these risks and manage your health effectively. Some strategies to consider include Follow your healthcare provider's instructions. Take triamcinolone exactly as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Do not exceed the recommended dosage or duration of therapy without consulting them. Following their instructions will help minimize the risk of side effects. Regularly monitor your health. Regular checkups and monitoring are crucial when taking triamcinolone. Your healthcare provider may order blood tests, bone density scans, or other assessments to evaluate your overall health and manage any potential side effects. Practice healthy lifestyle habits. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle can help mitigate the risks associated with triamcinolone therapy. Eat a balanced diet rich in calcium and vitamin D to support bone health. Engage in regular exercise, including weight-bearing activities, to strengthen your muscles and bones. Additionally, avoid smoking and excessive alcohol consumption, as they can negatively impact your overall health. Report any unusual symptoms. If you experience any new or worsening symptoms while taking triamcinolone, it's important to inform your healthcare provider promptly. Early detection and intervention can help prevent the progression of side effects and ensure your treatment remains effective. When to seek medical attention for triamcinolone side effects. While mild side effects of triamcinolone can be managed at home, certain symptoms require immediate medical attention. If you experience any of the following, seek medical help. Difficulty breathing or swelling of the face, lips, or throat, indicating an allergic reaction. Severe stomach pain or bloody stools, indicating gastrointestinal bleeding. Sudden onset of severe headaches or changes in vision, indicating increased intracranial pressure. Signs of adrenal crisis, such as extreme fatigue, weakness, dizziness, or low blood pressure. It's important to prioritize your health and seek medical attention when necessary. Your healthcare provider is best equipped to evaluate your symptoms and provide appropriate guidance. Alternatives to triamcinolone therapy. While triamcinolone can be highly effective for many individuals, it's not the only treatment option available. In some cases, alternative therapies may be considered. Some alternatives to triamcinolone therapy include Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. For certain inflammatory conditions, nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen or naproxen may provide relief without the potential side effects associated with corticosteroids. However, NSAIDs have their own set of risks and should be used under the guidance of a healthcare provider. Immunomodulators. 
In some cases, immunomodulators or biologic therapies may be used to manage conditions like asthma or psoriasis. These medications work by targeting specific components of the immune system, reducing inflammation and minimizing the need for corticosteroids. Lifestyle Modifications In certain cases, lifestyle modifications may play a significant role in managing symptoms and reducing the need for medications like triamcinolone. For example, managing allergies through environmental controls, such as avoiding allergens or implementing proper ventilation systems, can alleviate symptoms without the need for medication. It's important to discuss alternative treatment options with your healthcare provider to determine the best course of action based on your specific medical condition and individual needs. Conclusion Weighing the Benefits and Risks of Triamcinolone Therapy Triamcinolone can be a highly effective treatment option for various medical conditions, helping to alleviate symptoms and improve overall health. However, it's essential to be aware of the potential risks and side effects associated with its use. While not everyone will experience these side effects, Understanding them can help you make informed decisions about your treatment options and manage your health effectively. Before starting triamcinolone therapy, consult with your healthcare provider to evaluate the potential risks and benefits based on your specific medical condition. They can provide personalized guidance and monitor your health to minimize the risk of side effects. Remember, open communication with your healthcare provider is key to ensuring safe and effective treatment with triamcinolone.